This is my collection of fantasy art trading cards that I've been collecting for about three years now. Um, I became interested in fantasy art in a weird sort of way, like when I was like 10 or 11. I played a game called Golden Axe, and I just loved the way it looked. I loved the art, you know, the elves and dragons and swords and magic and stuff like that. But it wasn't until I was like maybe 18 that I knew that fan that you could actually purchase fantasy art, but I wasn't able to start collecting them back then for other reasons. But I did start collecting these when I was 20, and um, this binder contains sets from people such as. Um, Julie Bell, Boris Vallejo, um, Frank Franzella, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and as well as other people. And this is a thick binder. I'm uh, not going to really have time to show all of these, so I'll quickly skim over uh, the different pages and just uh, show, point out to you guys uh, which cards are my favorite. And I also collect, uh, I also have some of those heavy metal magazines. I have a couple of um, art books and stuff like that. We only have one art book, but. That was one of my favorites. Swing that one. Um, that's from Double Dragon uh, 5. I also have some more of these, but they're in a binder dedicated to video game related cards. I'm not sure, but I think that's from um, Strider 2, I think. That was pretty cool. Well, I really like that one. And that's a pretty cool one. One of my favorites. Not a favorite. I don't even remember who did this art.
I think this one came from a video game. Uh, yeah, it came from that video game. I think that's a Sega Genesis game that I don't have, and I wish I did. I think it's Sega Genesis. Um, that is pretty awesome. I guess I forgot to put that one in my um, binder of um, video game cards. This kind of looks like Blanca from the uh, Street Fighter uh, live action movie. consider myself um, very fortunate to own these cards because um, this is something I've always wanted. I, I love fantasy art and um, there was a point in my life where I would have never been allowed to have anything like this. Like if I've known, if I had known about these in, um, in middle and high school, I would have never been allowed to have them. So I can appreciate now the fact that I, I can now own these because, you know, I'm an adult and you know, I can do what I want now. So even though these cards, are, these cards are very easy to get, easy to find, very cheap, I'm still thankful to own them. Even though this is the cheapest and easiest to get of my, um, of my card collection. I think I have more value over these than the cards that I've collected since I was 11 years old just because I wasn't always in a position to where I would have been allowed to get these. And I don't know how people would react, my family would react if they know that I have these now. Like my sister knows that I have these but she doesn't have a problem with it but you know it's just just very nice to be able to um, to own these. And um, if you guys collect fantasy art, love fantasy art, whether it's cards, art books, comics, let me know because I can't be the. I don't think I'm the only one. Or if you collected these back in the day, uh, let me know. I also have an art book somewhere. I, I can't remember who. Uh, did the art in the book. I think it was uh, Royo or something, Lewis, something. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm sorry about that, guys. I need to get a better binder for these. Like seriously, like these beautiful cards shouldn't be in a binder that looks like it's as old as I am. I mean, as I've said before, I'm very, very fortunate to own these. And if you guys collected these, if you like fantasy art, anything, if you collect these back in the day, if you like anything, you gotta do with fantasy art, let me know. Tell me your story, make a video. Oh man, that's a nice one.
I don't know. I might show those heavy metal magazines. I don't know. Because that, now that's something I really, I don't know about showing that. Because they're a little much. And I don't know how most people feel about a girl with heavy metal magazines. Because that's like considered a guy's thing. So is fantasy art stuff. But, you know, some people will probably say, oh, you like women because you have all these cars with women on it. But, you know, that's not true. I just appreciate good fantasy art. Because I've always been in a sci-fi and fantasy since I was a child. These are from a card game that you can play. Uh, I only bought these because they were cheap. I don't know how to play the game. And it has art from uh, Julie Bell and uh, Boris Vallejo. I guess these cards are okay. I just have them because of the art. They were extremely cheap. I think I bought the starter set for $9 and got like 100 cards out of it. But most of the art is recycled from, uh, from other card sets. So it's not like you're getting any new art if you was to just buy like the uh, Julie Bell or Boris Vallejo sets. It's the same art. I'm close to the end. These are pretty cool. And that's 